Dr. Steve Pachenik, and this is Steve Talks. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. America. This is Dr. Steve Pachenik, and today was quite an interesting day. I just got a call from the Alex Jones Show to say that a Mr. George Webb, whoever he is, I don't know who he is, mentioned me and Alex and an attempt to do something that was not very professional. He tried to denigrate both of us. I want to thank Mr. George Webb, whoever he's working for, whether it's the Mossad or some other incompetent organization, and thank him for being completely incorrect as to the fact that I am not the writer of Clockwork Orange, and it's uh, the very talented Anthony Burgess who is. On the other hand, please don't try to intimidate the Alex Jones Show. They have millions of uh, listeners and watchers, and I think you will get yourself into a lot of trouble. On a more interesting note, I want to talk about uh, yesterday's attack in England, where uh, three men allegedly killed seven people and injured uh, 30 using knives. Now, if that's in fact the case, then I would say that I'm not totally surprised that this occurred after the false flag of the Manchester Mass. I warned last week that once you create a false flag in England or in any other country, including our own country, you, it will be uh, subsequently followed by many other real attacks because the inspiration for an attack is usually uh, generated by the false flag and the individual, whether he's crazy or she's crazy or not, or whether they are Islamic fundamentalists is not relevant. Instead, they will try to compensate for the false flag and kill in real time and in real events those people who are deemed to be unworthy. Now let me get to an issue which does concern me very much in the United States, and that is the issue of Kathy Griffin, the comedian. I'm not a personal fan of her. I never really liked her humor. I don't know her. I hold nothing against her. On the other hand, I do not believe she represents anything other than her own self-interest. And in her own self-interest, she did something which I consider to be stupid and malevolent. And that was to portray a picture of Donald Trump, the president of the United States, in a, de in a uh, severed head with replete with blood. In other words, that was a decapitated president. And the intention was to say that this is what should happen to the president of the United States. In the past, I ran a ward of the criminally insane who did attempt to attack the president or even threaten the president. And I worked closely with the Secret Service. In this particular case of Kathy Griffin, I would recommend that the Secret Service do investigate her and really find out what is her problem. As a psychiatrist, I could go into all types of rationalizations. She was a girl who was abused. Uh, there was pedophilia in her family. It's a Catholic family. Her brother uh, abused her when he was 30 and she was seven. Uh, she went to an all-girls school. She didn't like the nuns, so on and so, uh, so forth. She clearly has a problem with men, and she has a problem with the Trump family. If this were the only problem, the Donald Trump severed head, I would say, look, that's something we should investigate. But there's another problem beyond that, and that's the fact that on September 16th in 2016, she clearly was determined to go after his son. And that is an 11-year-old kid who has no influence whatsoever on his father or on anything other than the fact that he is a civilian and should never been touched and never been bothered by her or anyone else. So I say to the Secret Service, go forth, do what you normally do, investigate her, and if you find she's criminally insane, insane then incarcerate her. Let me get to another issue as well, another comedian by the name of Bill Maher. Now, unfortunately, I got to know him when he was very young, and he was type of a sycophant in New York who really was pleased to please others because he was new and unknown. Twenty years later, I got to meet him again in Los Angeles when he worked for the same network that I did. I found him to be arrogant, ignorant, and pompous. 
Now, the reason I bring up his name is because he made a real Freudian slip that was very revealing, much like Catherine Griffin did. He had an interview with Ben Sasse, the senator from Tennessee or Nebraska, and basically said, and this is his words, that I'm not a field nigger. Now, for him to say that jokingly reveals an underlying hostility to the African-Americans. Not only does he have to apologize to the African-Americans, I think he should be investigated for his own unheralded uh, feelings towards blacks, towards Republicans, towards all types of people who don't believe what he does, which is marijuana, atheism, and self-aggrandizement. And now for the last point of issue. The CIA now appointed another a gentleman by the name of Michael D'Andrea, who likes to call himself the Prince of Darkness. In short, he will run the Iran Counterintelligence Unit in the CIA. I have said to Mr. Pompeo, and I warned our intelligence community, do not continue this rendition and this absurd history of ineffectual implementation of programs that did not do anything other than torture innocent people. In fact, there's a woman who's the deputy director of the CIA, Gail Halspin, who was involved in rendition, was involved in the torture of individuals who should never have been tortured. Now, DeAndrea, who was a Christian and moved into Islam, has also been involved in torture. I warn Pompeo again and again, be careful of what you do. You work for us, the people of the United States. Now for the last word. I'd like to quote a young gentleman by the name of Cole, Cole who is a writer, and he said the following, I'm allergic to stupidity. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Dr. Steve Pachenik, am also allergic to stupidity of all kinds, whether it's a comedian, whether it's an operative, or whether it's a statesman. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next week. Hi, this is Dr. Steve Pachenik. This is Steve Talks.